Mia Dynamics is a Tel Aviv-based company that is developing an all-terrain quad-wheel platform for electric urban mobility vehicles. This platform will have its debut inside an electric stand-up scooter called Mia 4. This scooter will feature a double wishbone suspension and grippy 15-inch tires for ultimate riding comfort and off-road conditions. The model is also equipped with a unique tilting technology for sharper cornering. The scooter's powertrain will let you travel at speeds up to 28 miles per hour, while the estimated range on one battery charge would be about 30 miles. Mia 4 tips the scales at 106 pounds and has an ability to switch between 2x4 and 4x4 riding modes, depending on the terrain and road conditions. Further down the line, Mia Dynamics Company is planning on equipping their platform with much more powerful motors and using it to create a high-speed quad cycle. It is to weigh 485 pounds, reach speeds up to 100 miles per hour, and cover distances up to 170 miles per charge. The quad cycle is still on the prototype stage, so detailed specifications and final design elements will be unveiled in the near future. In the automotive world, a hyper label automatically adds a vehicle to the list of the most powerful and expensive models on sale. The London-based transportation company decided to use the same naming strategy to highlight the extraordinary nature of their electric stand-up scooter. The Dragonfly Hyper Scooter features an innovative construction with four wheels, a patent-pending full-tilt steering technology, and a convenient folding design. The model is brought into motion with a dual-motor powertrain that yields 1,650 watts of output and allows 25 mile per hour speeds. The scooter uses two mechanical rear drum brakes and two modulated electric brakes in the front to give you the ultimate control over the power output. The Dragonfly can cover 50 miles on a charge thanks to the 20-watt-hour battery pack. The model ensures the comfort and safety of your trip by using a 4x2 traction control system, all-wheel suspension, informative 4.5-inch 4K display, and full LED lighting with turn signals. The model is capable of carrying riders up to 350 pounds, while the overall scooter weight is just 39 pounds. Finally, if you'd like to use the Hyper Scooter beyond just carving down the city streets, there's a DFX model specifically equipped for off-road use. In one of our recent EV news roundups, we mentioned electric bicycles by the Canadian company called Envo Drive. Even though this company has a decent variety of e-bike models, they should not be only associated with this type of urban mobility vehicle. Their current range also features battery-powered vehicles suitable for riding on water, in snow, and even dirt. Envo EATV is the latest addition to the brand's lineup. This four-wheel scooter is equipped with a height-adjustable seat, but this fact should not be keeping you from riding it in a standing position. Sitting quite high above the ground and offering 200 millimeters of ground clearance, this model features a double wishbone suspension design and is brought into motion by means of a dual-motor powertrain with 3 kilowatts of combined output. With one 1,500-watt motor hidden inside each rear wheel, Envo EATV can reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour while carrying up to 440 pounds of cargo. Moreover, this off-road scooter has the maximum towing capacity of 770 pounds. The powertrain duo draws the energy from a 60-volt, 50-amp-hour battery pack and supports a regenerative braking feature that can turn excess kinetic energy into a battery charge. The Easy Raider is a powerful four-wheel electric scooter with a limitless potential to be used for personal mobility, tourism, or in other situations when tackling off-road trails is needed. If we were trying to find a place for the Easy Raider in the hierarchy of modern electric vehicles based on their capabilities, we would put it somewhere between a highly capable all-terrain scooter and a full-fledged ATV. This attention-grabbing machine is offered in three modifications, LW, HD2, and HD4 differing in number of electric motors, size, payload capacity, and performance specifications. Regardless of the chosen modification, you get a scooter based on a lightweight tubular frame with a 360-degree floating suspension 
that has 19.6 inches travel in the front and the rear. The LW and HD2 modifications get two brushless hub motors with the peak output of 9 kilowatts, while HD4 modification gets twice as many motors, one for every wheel. With 18 kilowatts of output on tap, the latter model can reach 28 mile per hour speeds and ride for 45 miles on a charge using the power of the 60 volt, 3000 watt hour lithium ion battery. Modern electric scooters come in different shapes and sizes. They can be as small as those ride-sharing scooters you see on roads every day, and as big as the light horse. What is a light horse, you may ask? It's a high-performance electric scooter with massive tires and four-wheel drive capabilities. Even though still on the pre-order stage, the company has already announced prices and specifications for two modifications this scooter will be offered in, LH2 and LH4. Both modifications are equipped and fine-tuned to carry out specific tasks. For example, LH2 is best suited for city riding, being used as a sports and recreation vehicle, or as a much faster alternative to a traditional golf cart. The LH4 model, however, is equipped for four-wheel drive system, thus enabling it to tackle the toughest road situations and off-road trails. Regardless of the modification, light horse scooters are capable of reaching the top speed of 40 miles per hour and have battery packs suitable to sustain such performance for up to 80 miles of riding. Light Horse Scooter features a modular battery system. Every module is called a light pack and it's good for covering up to 20 miles of riding. The scooter can hold up to four light packs at home. Besides carrying a rider and an overall weight of 500 pounds, the Light Horse has the 1,000 pound towing capability. Coyote is the newest four-wheeler that was designed to provide both able-bodied and disabled persons with unseen-before levels of off-road riding capabilities. When developing this vehicle, the engineers tried to keep the construction as compact and lightweight as possible, while giving it a good deal of power. The Coyote ATV is small enough to be transported in the trunk of an SUV, has a go-kart-like seating position, and a set of wheels with fat tires. Besides the all-terrain tires, this four-wheeler features a long travel front and rear air shock suspension designed to smooth out rides over any type of terrain. The list of powertrain options are as follows. A 2-kilowatt two two-wheel drive system with an independent suspension, a 3-kilowatt two-wheel drive system with a live axle, and a 5-kilowatt powertrain with four-wheel drive capabilities and an independent suspension. This machine will become your perfect companion on any backcountry trip a fishing getaway, or even an overlanding expedition. The Coyote rig has the ground clearance of 7 inches, can carry a payload of 400 pounds, and go at speeds up to 22 miles per hour. On the order page, you'd be able to option your Coyote four-wheeler with a battery pack that suits your needs the most. The cheapest option is represented by a 1,512 watt-hour battery unit, good for rides between 20 and 35 miles. However, the longest-range battery unit has 6,048 watt-hours of capacity, and would let you cover between 80 and 120 miles on a charge. Even though Swincar eSpider does not look or ride similarly to an off-road electric scooter, this unusual transportation invention was developed to fulfill similar functions it can let you take the road less traveled and have a lot of fun while doing so. E-Spider is ridden in a seated position. This lightweight electric vehicle features a unique four-wheel independent suspension with adjustable spring shock absorbers and has four-wheel drive capabilities. A set of four brushless electric motors generates the peak output of 4,160 watts and offers 258 pound-feet of peak torque. This four-motor powertrain is hooked up to a battery pack with four kilowatt hours of capacity. With the aforementioned battery pack, you can expect up to four hours of riding time. Moreover, the motors support a regenerative braking system, which can top up your battery charge while riding downhill. Once depleted, the battery charge could be restored in 2.5 hours. Even though eSpider looks like a great off-road adventure vehicle, it can also be ridden on public roads at speeds up to 18 miles per hour, 
thanks to the European L6EA classification. Mountain Tank is a four-wheel electric scooter developed by an uprising Asian manufacturer of e-mobility vehicles. As its name suggests, this model received everything to tackle mountainous terrains, a four-wheel drive, a McPherson independent suspension, and four-wheel disc brakes, but it doesn't mean that the Mountain Tank won't be able to deal with your daily commuting needs. The model features four electric motors with 1500-watt output capabilities. With 6 kilowatts of peak output, this scooter is capable of reaching speeds up to 30 miles per hour while carrying a load of up to 440 pounds. The scooter's powertrain is hooked up to a 60-volt, 50-amp-hour battery pack that could keep the good times going between 18 and 37 miles. The standard equipment also includes a cushioned seat, front and rear lights, an electric horn, and a set of turn lights. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.